Hello everybody, it's Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a grad student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill who loves reacting to Eurovision past and present. So if that sounds like it'd be interesting to you, um, then please consider subscribing because I would love it if you did. But more importantly, like this video and comment below because I want to hear your thoughts on this intro. So tonight is our last night of Eurovision 2007 reactions. I know it's been three weeks already. It's been like six weeks since I started this series. Um, and this time is flying by. I think because every day for the last two months has essentially been one long day. So, <laughs> um, so it just seems very quick looking back now. But anyway, I'm excited to react to these last couple of entries. Now, don't worry if there are any 2007 entries that I didn't get to that you want me to react to, still put those and I'll get to those. They just won't be part of this series. I'll do them just as reaction requests. And then next week, we're already on to 2008. But watch out for my big kind of recap video. That will come out tomorrow's Thursday. That'll come out on Friday where I give my thoughts on 2007 as a year and more importantly, give my awards to songs I think stood out in various ways. So look out for that. Um, so right now we are reacting to 15th place at Eurovision 2007 and 15th place was Slovenia. Y'all know I love Slovenia. I love my Slovenian friends. Hey y'all. Um, and so I'm really happy to see that they did well. I would, you know, I would always like to see them do even better, but that's not to say 15th is bad. That's just like me loving Slovenia Eurovision. But anyway, so the artist that they sent was Alenka Gota, and the song is Svet Ziuda. Now, to my Slovenian friends, I'm posing a question to you. And this is a language question, just because I'm very curious and I genuinely have no idea, and so I'm coming to y'all as experts. So when in Slovenian, and I think this may happen in other languages too, but I noticed it most in Slovenian, when there's just that Z by itself, I'm assuming that's not just a letter, but it adds some meaning to the, to the sentence or the phrase. Um, but you see like in the title of this song, it's Svet and then just the letter Z or what looks like the letter Z in a yuga. So what does that letter Z do in that sentence? What linguistic role does it fill, grammatical role, I suppose? Um, just let me know, because I'm really interested. That's another subject, but I want to know, you know, this is a good time to ask the question. So anyway, but let's go ahead and get into this. I won't keep you any longer with my um, digressions. <laughs> Let me make sure my volume is down, okay. Okay. Come on, Alenka. Oh, dramatic. It's already dramatic. Hey, girl. She looks pretty. You know I love some drama at Eurovision. Oh. Mmm, her voice is smooth. And I looked this up and it means like flower of the south or from the south, right? So let's see if I can understand why that's the title. Ooh! I was not expecting it to give this operatic, okay. I like that background, that blue. It looks like a sun, but it's blue. Star would, I guess, be. <laughs> okay. Mm. I love a, like a pop opera, <laughs> pop opera. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't even realize she had LEDs on her hand. That's cool. Oh, I love how dark and dramatic this is.
Well, I like how the background singers kind of are kind of echoing what she's singing, but in this whispered tone. This is beautiful. Mmm, that's pretty. Those harmonies in the background singers. I love an open arm stance. It just makes everything feel so much bigger. Wow, that was fantastic. <laughs> that was really good. Congratulations, Slovenia. That was so interesting. I don't know, again, I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't that. Um, I didn't know what this song was gonna be. I was not expecting an opera type song. I am so happy with that. I loved that it was an operatic song, but it was dark. Cause like 2019, Australia sent an opera song, but it was, a little bit lighter in tone. I mean, it was about a dark topic. Well, no, it really wasn't. It was about getting out of a dark space. So it was it was lighter. Um, I remember there was another operatic song in the late 2000s. I can't remember who sent it. It's a blonde lady. I'm sure it'll come up in one of these years um, soon. Maybe not, but it could happen. But anyway, I loved how dark this was. I loved the rich black and blue color with the star behind her. Um, let me know about the title and how that fits into the narrative of the song. Because you know I don't speak Slovenian as much as I would like to, I don't. So, um, I'm not exactly sure of the tale that was being told or the story that was being told or whatever it was with the lyrics. So let me know um, how the whole Flower of the South, Flower from the South um, title ties in with the lyrics of the song the rest of the lyrics of the song. Um, her voice was impeccable. I think most of the people who dare to do opera at Eurovision generally have an understanding that they have to have a good enough voice to be able to pull off opera at Eurovision. So this was impeccable, just like those, some of those other entries that I mentioned that also did opera. Um, this was impeccable. And I think it was a really cool use of the backing singers um, where a lot of times they would like again, reiterate what she said, but with a different tone of voice, like a whispered tone, a hushed whispered tone, um, just to kind of add some dynamism and some polyvalence to the performance, different layers to the performance. Um, so overall, I just really enjoyed that and I loved how unexpected it was. Like I said, I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't this like pop opera dark too, so I really liked it. Um, so anyway, if you have any other information on the song though, or the singer, or anything like that, as always, put that in the comments below because I really enjoy reading those. By the time most of y'all comment, um, I'm just getting up for the day, in the morning, the next morning, so like, it's always nice to get up and read those, and then, you know, to read them again for the people who comment throughout the day. Um, and I do try to respond to most of them, if not all of them, as I can. So I hope that's nice too. But anyway, if you like this video, please like this video. Comment below again. I want to hear your thoughts on this song, this entry, and any information you might have on it. I can't remember who requested this. I'm so sorry. That's one thing I'm bad at, is remembering who requested things. But if it was you, please um, drop your... Well, you don't have to drop your name. It shows when you comment, but like, just... Um, let me know that it was you who requested it so I can thank you for that. Um, and then just to reiterate, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, then please do, because I would love to have you with us as we continue through this journey of reactions. So anyway, thank you for clicking on this video. Thanks for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you next time.